Question 14. Numbers between 0 and 1 with three decimal places are represented inside this rectangle. Circle A are numbers that round to 0 0.7 to one decimal place, and numbers inside circle B must be numbers that round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places. Anything else would lie outside this circle, but in that grey shaded area in the middle we're looking for a number that would meet both of those criteria. Question 14a says work out a possible number with three decimal places that is inside that shaded area. So it has to round to 0.7 to one decimal place or 0.75 to two decimal places. You have a little bit of space here to try things out just to experiment and see what would work. Now we know that it must be fairly close to 0.7. If it was less than 0.7, so for example 0.69, that would round to 0.7 to one decimal place. Just put a zero on the end to make it three decimal places. But it would not round to 0.75. To two decimal places, that would be 0.69. So it's got to be bigger than that. If we looked at the second one and said, well, maybe it's 0.751. This would meet the second rule for B, 0.75 to two decimal places. But to one decimal place, this becomes 0.8. So what we're looking for is something less than 0.75, but bigger than 0.7. Any number should actually suffice from there. But we have to be very careful. Because if we go for 0 0.701, again, this would only round to 7, 0 to two decimal places. To make sure that it meets both of our rules, we're looking for a number which will definitely round to 0.75 but be less than this. So we're actually looking for 0.74 and then a number here which, which would be bigger than 5. So 5 is a perfect example. If we round this to one decimal place we end up with 0.7. But if we now include the second number that 4 gets rounded up because of the 5 and becomes 0.75 meaning 0.745 is a valid option for that grace area of the two circles. We could have chosen any value up to 0 0.749 and that still would have succeeded at matching both criteria. Question 14b says work out a possible number with three decimal places that is in the shaded area to the left. So this time, in a similar way we did before, we're looking for a number that rounds to 0 0.7 but does not round to 0 0.75 in any way. We've already come up with a few solutions up here because we can choose to look at 0 0.690 again. This number here, it to one decimal place, would round to 0 0.7. If I round it to two decimal places, it's 0 0.69, which does not meet any of the other two criteria, so therefore that number is acceptable. Any number that you choose between 0 0.65, yeah, 0 0.650, because that would round up to one by to one decimal place to 0 0.7, so 0 0.650. Anything between that and the point where this no longer rounds up, so to 0 0.744, would also meet the criteria that it does not round to 0 0.75 and therefore doesn't meet both the criteria, so the middle section would also be ignored. 